Hey YouTube, it's Guys With Rides and we're back with another video for you. As per request, today we're going to be talking about beads. Just playing. In reality, this video will be about Cars and Croissants, a car meet that happened today in San Jose, California. What is Cars and Croissants? Well, it's kind of a meetup where pretty wealthy people bring their really nice cars, you know, for example, you know, La Ferrari, there's a 918 there, the Spagani. Those are all there, and they bring them, and it's kind of just a kind of a general car show. Dealerships bring cars, you know, there's Ferrari of Silicon Valley that usually makes an appearance. Maserati comes, they bring a couple models. And it's really just kind of a fun, friendly meetup for all people who like nice cars to meet up and talk about cars. This video isn't going to be a really structured video, it's going to be kind of more of our catalog of our experience for people who have never been to a car show or really, really are sad that they miss cars and croissants. Hope you guys like it, let's get to it. All right, so to start off Cars and Croissants here, we got a yellow Inventador. For personally, I think it looks a little bit too much like a Transformer, like a really expensive Transformer, but for those of you who like Transformers, go for it. All right, and here we have the lovely 990 horse P1 GTR, $7 million. I honestly do not know how you pilot a car when it looks like a computer game inside. Look at that, it's ridiculous. $7 million for that. And here we have the nicest wrapped R8 I have ever seen in my entire life. That's the most amazing blue I've ever seen. Alright, and this car here is the definition of impracticality. I actually got to sit in this Pagani. It was absolutely amazing. It's the nicest leather I have ever touched out of everything I ever owned. This seat was the nicest. 1.2, start to 1.2 without wheels. Most expensive car I've ever sat in to this day. I'm not going to say anything, just listen to this sound. I've never seen styling more dramatic than the La Ferrari. Most amazing looking car I've ever seen in my entire life. And here we have a baby Aventador, aka Big R8, aka Huracan. I gotta love that V10. That thing screams like an animal. Uh, I would like the GTS if it's back, just wasn't so 911 like. I mean, come on, it's just trying to be a Porsche, and it's clearly not. I hate it. It's such a hard time a telling if it's an Aventador or a Huracan because they look so freaking similar. I guess that's just Lamborghini styling. I'm not really sure. How could you not love a GT4, really? Is it bad? I can't tell the difference between a 570S and a 650. I just cannot tell. They honestly look so freaking similar. And here we have the most beautiful rear wing I've ever seen. Oh, this P1. I can't even say. Oh. <laughs> this dude for sure has to watch the speed bumps at the elementary school. Oh my god, I love this. And here we have the older brother of the 488 GTB. 458. So freaking beautiful. Turbo less, naturally aspirated V8. <laughs> oh my lord. I can't believe they discontinued this car. Oh, uh, this is the SLS AMG, uh, baby. Bet you a million dollars this guy has to keep off my lawn sign. It's absolutely amazing to me that a car could look this good stock. And here we have the last member of the Holy Trinity, the 918 Spider. Oh my god, I think the profile of this car looks absolutely stunning. Not as nice as the LaFerrari, but it still it just makes an impression on you. Wow. Okay, so after seeing all these videos and all these cars, this may or may not beg the question, personally, for me, I can only speak for myself, what was my favorite car? Now, there was a, you know, like a 1.5 or more million dollar Pagani. There was a 918 Spider. God knows how much that cost with options. You know, there's a P1. There's a P1 GTR. That's seven million dollars. Now, if you're buying for cost, sure. If someone gave me a seven million dollar car, I'd be fine with that. But in reality, all those McLarens, that Pagani, that 918, the Ferraris, none of them had a manual transmission, and that is kind of my requirement for having a car. So. Unless I can get an old Ferrari or an old McLaren, I'm not even sure if they made McLarens in a manual, but I have to say that my number one car of everything there would have to be the Cayman GT4. I mean, that car is only made, as far as I know, in a manual transmission, 3.8 liter, flat six, you know, 911 derived, 
That for me checks all the boxes of all the cars at Cars and Croissants. I would have to go with the GT4. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Comment below which of the cars you'd like to bring home. If you're smart, you'll pick a GT4. Just kidding, but not really. We'll see you guys next time.